I'm going to show you as fast as possible as if you've never used an automation software in your entire life in this video, how to leverage NAN for your business or personal life. Sound good? Let's jump in. To get started here, we're going to create a very simple workflow that integrates AI, specifically OpenAI's API. And if you're wondering, Corbin, what the heck is an API? Don't worry about it. Right now, all you need to understand is how to create a workflow from start to finish. So we're going to do a form submission create a automated artificial intelligence draft through AI and then send that automatically through Gmail. So let's do it. I'm gonna come up here to create workflow. Let's begin by creating our trigger event. This is what's going to initiate the entire automation. Now, right now, NAN provides a bunch of different options such as on form submission, webhook call, on schedule, on app event, on schedule, run it every 1 p.m. PST on every Monday, each one of these has their own specific use case. Today, we're gonna to do an on-form submission, maybe tomorrow or in a couple of days, I'm gonna show you how to do more complex workflows with a webhook, so obviously, make sure you subscribe here. Let's do on-form submission. First, we'll add a form title here. We're gonna do lawn mowing inquiry. Form description, I'm gonna say, I need your data, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna act like a lawn mowing company here that needs relevant information about your property for me to effectively lawn mow your lawn. Field name, I'm gonna say name. What is your name? And for now, we can add placeholders here, so we'll say first name make this a required field. And what I wanna do is very simple conditional logic where we're gonna do two different types of automations depending on what the user inputs. Therefore, we're gonna do element type number. I'm gonna say, how big is your lawn? Parentheses, square feet. With that done, we'll do required field. We can add one last field here. Obviously, we have a lot to choose from. Look at that, so many options. It's like when you go to Cold Stone and you're like, what ice cream do I like? And then you typically go for the one you always go with, hashtag mint chip, a cookie dough can hit as well. Come back over here though, we're gonna choose email so we can send up a follow-up email, oopsie daisy. And that should be good here, so we're gonna require this field as well. Next step for any automation is we need test data. Execute step. So here we go, we got James, how big is your lawn? 1,400 square feet. And then the email, I'm gonna use this contact at webcafeai.com. This is a real email and I'm using a real email so I can show you this actually works. Wait, a tutorial where the tutorial person, is that what you call me, actually shows a real automation that works? Yes, yes, you found gold. All right, come in over here. Once we execute the step, the data is above me. Hit this little pin data. We're gonna use this data throughout the flow. Receive data, what do we do next, Corbin? Well, first off, how do we even move around this little playground? To move around like this, you're gonna use the middle of your little mouse. What's the middle? This thing right here. To zoom in, zoom out, we can use these buttons right here. I'm zooming out. I'm zooming in. To zoom to fit, where it's like, you know, you're a little crazy. You're like, where am I going? I'm in no man's land. Click it. We're back. And then we'll use the cleanup a little later in this tutorial. So first off, we need to use our open AI. We have an AI. Build autonomous agents. Summarize. Okay, nice. They got a bunch of different options here. A lot has changed. You can choose whichever model you really love. I'm going to use open AI for now. And we're going to do the action of message and model. Now, one thing I want you to note here, especially when it comes to AI, and why you clicked on this video is that AI isn't just text in, text out, e.g. I text you, you give me text back. There's a bunch of different stuff we can do, such as analyze images, analyze audio, extract audio. But for now, message and model. No, 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 no not, not an IG model, y'all. Message and open AI model. Go ahead and connect your credentials with your open AI account. If you're like, Corbin, how the heck do I do that? Check me out here. I show you in a ton of different tutorials. Resource, text, text in, text out. I like it. We're gonna do message and model. From the model list, all I want you to do is always just go with the most up-to-date model as of now because you're learning still, so you don't have to worry about all this other craziness. Next is prompt engineering. For now, we'll do a simple prompt here. I'm gonna open it up like this because this box is too small. I want it bigger. Here we go. So here's our prompt. We're gonna add in variables here, don't worry. For now, we got context. We are writing an email as a lawnmower company. Identify who you are. We received a form submission. Form data. This is how you format data coming in, e.g. this stuff up here. If the lawn size is bigger than 1,000 square feet, then offer them an extra window cleaning service. Important, never put in variables that need to be replaced, e.g. when an AI does an output and it's like, best regards, your name, and then puts like phone number in brackets, but doesn't actually put a phone number. Let's mitigate that. Important is where you identify very important rules that you want the AI model to follow on outputs. Now, what I want you to understand is let's add these little variables to make this dynamic. We're gonna do expression. We're then gonna click this open. We then get a way better UI. So from this UI, I can add the relevant information that I care about. So we're gonna name there. How big is your lawn? There's, that's how big your lawn is, 1,400. And what you'll notice is how it's gonna be read by the AI model here. I like it. For now, everything else, we're gonna stay the same. I'm also gonna show you how to maybe not necessarily rely on the AI model when it comes to dynamically offering the window cleaning service. Maybe you want a more set way of doing that with a different block. Let's go ahead and just execute step for right now. We should see a window cleaning service be offered on top with the lawn mowing service. 
Here we go. We can also add our window cleaning service as well. You might be like, Corbin, what is this slash end? That is a way for the AI to indent the new line. When I say new line, essentially it's right now it's a paragraph. We'd want it a little bit more structured for obvious reasons. I jump into that in other tutorials. For now though, we got our nice little AI output. Coming back over here, if you didn't want to use conditional logic within the AI prompt, we can alternatively attach a different type of block here in an AN. Add, flow, if. Value, what is the value? We're gonna do how big is your lawn? We're gonna say is equal to, or alternatively, since it's a number, we're gonna say is greater than. If you've code, you know what I'm talking about. It's the if else. If else. And then we're gonna say a thousand. And then simply the logic that would incur here is out execute step. And then if the underlying lawn is bigger than a thousand, it's gonna go down true. And then we would set our up our relative AI prompt and flow for true. And then if the lawn is smaller than a thousand, then we would go for false. And what we would do in that context, maybe the lawns that are not a thousand square feet bigger, they're, just, they're not worth our time. So therefore we just send them an email like, you know what, you're not worth our time. For now though, <laughs> we're gonna go and delete this step. We don't need to do this because the AI is already doing it for us. Attach this and let's do the last block here because you clicked on a very fast tutorial. We said, Corbin, I want it fast. I'm giving you fast Gmail. Coming down to Gmail here, we're gonna say create a draft. Any type of account you need to connect with, you're gonna simply add the credentials. And a lot of times you just sign into the relevant account. As a side note, if you're like Corbin, what even connects to NADN? Like, what can I do? I'm gonna leave this in the description down below. This gives you all the apps and different integrations NAN currently integrates with. On top of that, don't worry about it. In our more complex tutorial, we're gonna go over something called webhooks, which is gonna allow us to essentially integrate any type of software found on the internet, as long as they provide an API. An API is just a key that tells the software like you own this, like you have access to this. But we'll get deeper into that later. From here though, we're gonna go ahead and just add a nice little subject. We are then going to choose between text or HTML. For now, I'll just do text. The message, we're gonna add the previous output. So I need to real quickly get that output from this. So we're gonna execute step again. What you have to remember, and what I forgot right there is we always have to hit pen in order for that data to be used in the next block for testing. Coffee, it's here again, pen. Perfect, great draft. Go to message, I'm gonna use the content here above my head, drag it here, and we've successfully added the relevant AI output that will get rid of the message. We can add fixed text here. What I mean by fixed text is that will show up in every single output so I can say, hey, what's up? Dot, and then boom, we shall execute this step and I should automatically, wait, hold up, I forgot one step. The last step here is gonna be the additional options that we would wanna add functionality to this block. This is gonna be same for any type of software you use where there are gonna be task specific things you can do for that application, e.g. add an attachment, BCC, from alias name or ID, for me, I'm gonna do a tune email. I wanna set it up so there's automatically a draft set to the email provided in the previous output from the form. So come on over here to form submission, click this, drag the email here. So now you just learned something very fundamental. We grab data from two different blocks previous in the workflow. Nice, execute step, execute order 66. <laughs> and what do you know? It showed up in my Gmail as a draft. Lot more inquiry, hey, what's up? Subject AI output. It looks perfect. Let me go ahead and fire off my last couple tips about NAN before you click off and start doom scrolling. All right, don't, don't doom scroll just yet. I'm still here. And the first tip's gotta be, you know, check me out on my live. Okay, it's in the description down below. Watch me live, just click the Twitch, follow. I'm streaming on YouTube, Twitch, NX, and maybe even TikTok pretty soon here. Every four to 7 p.m., just check me out, PST. Here's the next tip. If you're going crazy, because these workflows can go a little crazy, and you're going like this, you're checking this around, you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Hit clean up, and we're back to normal. Next thing, we're gonna always wanna hit save. In addition, if you wanna actually activate this so it works in a live production environment, activate. And with all that done, you've successfully set up your first NAN workflow. So make sure to leave a like if you felt like you learned something in today's video. It's completely free. I'm gonna do a very big tutorial on this platform pretty soon here that's gonna be way more complex. This is very much like, how do I make an automation? The next one's gonna be, whoa, that's a lot. Don't worry about that. Two random videos. That is my face. I'll see you in the next automation.